Hey friends, Bill Adams here, the director of the George Whitfield program. I want to talk for a minute, like, why now? Why be full-time like right now? People say, well, you know, just like in the Gospels, I've got, I just got married, I bought some land, you know, all these excuses start coming up. And you know, the, the interesting thing about life as I've gotten older is you look back and you say, you go, you know, it, in the moment, in the moment when you're young, you, you have this perspective that you, that you have all the time in the world and you'll get to it eventually. And you don't, if, you don't get to it, if you don't get to it now, you will probably won't get to it eventually. And as you get older, I'm, I'm 58. I can see the end. I'm closer to the end than when I started preaching 20, 25 years ago, you see. And I've got the advantage of, of looking back in time and understanding this process. So when you're in the middle of it, you're 25, you're 30, you go, yeah, man, I got all this other stuff to do. Well, before you know it, you're 50, 60, 70, and you've, you've lost that time. You can't get it back. So what I'm saying is that in the moment, it doesn't appear to be so important. But when you get to the end of life, you'll look back and go, the, I see the gospel is, is more important than I perceived it to be. And so what I'm saying, if you're younger and you can't see that, you have to act in faith that if, if the Lord's calling you to do this work, you have a desire for souls through the gospel, now is the time. It's time to do it now. Even if you have a lot of children, you got a lot of stuff going on, God has equipped you with enough energy and strength to persevere in the business of your young life. And so the time is now. The time is always now. The time is to confront the things now that uh, are obstacles to you going forward full time. It's the time is now. Typically, I've seen even in the stuff we do with Sportsman Outreach, we're just short term mission trips, you know, in the sense of four days or, you know, four days typically in the States or maybe two weeks to London. And somebody says, you know what? No. The timing's not right for me. Typically, after if that, once they tell me that, the time is typically never right for them, and they never come back. And so the time is now. If you have the spark, the divine spark, a divine calling, the Lord is speaking to you, saying, come on, man, I want you to do this. Now is the time to do it. And so <clears throat> if that's happening to you, and you understand what I'm saying, then reach out to me. Let's talk about this so I can explain how to sort of take some preliminary steps to move out of the particular set of circumstances that you're in to move forward into the process of becoming full-time. Because there is that process. Your life has to shift as you do more preaching work and so forth. So again, I want to reemphasize, if you have a sense the Lord's calling you or you want to do this kind of work, but you say, no, nah, I just can't do it right now, then no, now is the time. Because you've got that calling, you've got that interest, you've got a desire, and now's the time to act on it. Because if you let it slip away, you probably won't get it back. So contact me and let's talk about it. Call me at 1-866-646-5683, 1-866-646-5683, and let's talk about it. I'll give you some simple suggestions on how to move through that preliminary process to get, in the, get, into, to get into a place when you can begin to take the steps to be full-time. Hopefully that's clear. Love to hear from you. 1-866-646-5683. Thanks.